Weeks after an 87-year-old woman was killed inside her home, people who live in her neighborhood met with the Dallas police chief. They met to talk about the ongoing violent crime problem. So the chief told them violent crime is starting to trend down and that homicides are now tracking below 2020 numbers. Fox Force David Centendry is live at South Oak Cliff High School where that meeting happened with more. David. Well, Stephen Heather, these neighborhood meetings typically cover anything from neighborhood trash to property crimes, but tonight violent crime is at the center of conversation, especially since one of the area's very own Community Watch members was murdered. A growing concern inside South Oak Cliff's Marcellus Park community. A lot of crime. Specifically, violent crime. You hear a lot of gunshots? A lot, a lot, every night. You know, we have to come together and figure out what happened? What do we do about it? You know, is there something to do about it? The Neighborhood Crime Watch is hosting its monthly meeting. Thank you so much for coming. Following the murder of one of its own Crime Watch members, 87-year-old Anita Thompson, earlier this month, Dallas police charged her neighbor's son, Andre Bugs, for her murder. Bugs reportedly killed Thompson by hitting her over the head with a piece of concrete. The motive is unclear. Neighbors wonder if it could have been prevented. Well, a lot of people don't want to get involved, you know, and they just see things and go on. Chief Eddie Garcia addressed Tuesday's crowd. Violent crime overall remains up this year compared to last year, but Garcia says each month it's trending downward, especially homicides. Just a couple months ago, homicides were outpacing last year, but now they've evened out. If I reduce murders by 100, but the disparity of our black and brown kids being the ones that are being murdered the most, then we better not be celebrating much. Some people at Tuesday's meeting have concerns about how their community is policed. It's hard because people don't trust the police. But they say the department's representation Tuesday shows a good faith effort. We need human people, you know, people who aren't afraid to slow things down, breathe, and work with us, period. Still, most people here are adults, and many realize... It's all about building relationships with the kids. Young people are responsible for a significant amount of recent crime, and it'll take a community effort to lead them down the right path. Since a lot of children you interact with don't have both parents, is it even more important for people like yourself and community members to help them out? It's definitely important. We definitely need more outreach programs. I think something beautiful can come out of this. I know something can. We mentioned overall violent crime trending downward, while Chief Garcia says that it's also trending downward when we specifically are talking about this area of town. Obviously a trend people here at the meeting tonight hope continues.